Hey everybody, in this video, we are gonna talk about the best way you can arrange your POH for the mid game. So I wanted to make this video because I feel like there's a bunch of videos on max player owned houses, but never really for the mid game. And there's a lot of functional things that you could put in your house in the mid game. And when I'm talking about mid game, I'm really talking like level 50 to mid seventies where I am at right now. Uh, so we're gonna start off with how to get there what temporary boosts will be helpful to get those key items in your house, and then what are those key items. So the first thing you should build um, is a parlor, and that will allow you to make some crude wooden chairs, wooden chairs, and other items with regular planks. So what you're gonna do is from level one to 15, you're gonna use regular planks with good nails. So steel or better, I would recommend. Um, and this is only gonna be level one to 15, shouldn't take you that long. From 15 to 33, make your best oak item. Uh, it's not gonna be very long. Uh, you don't have to be super efficient. Uh, just get to level 33 because that's when the real XP will start coming in. From level 33, this is when you can start building oak larders and they're really great XP. You can actually do this all the way up to 50, as high as 74 it's recommended on the wiki. Um, I've done this to 73, it's the most cost effective and XP efficient way to get there. And if you have a butler, um, this will make this process even faster. It'll spend a little bit more money, but I think it's worth it in the long run. Super easy process. And after you do it a few times, you'll get the key clicks down on your hand. It'll just be like muscle memory. So just remove the larder, remove it, and just build it right back. You don't need any nails. Once you get to oak planks, you do not need any nails. I forgot my hammer, so that doesn't help, but bring a hammer and uh, you can make the oak larders. Let's talk about temporary boosts, and these are gonna be really helpful. Um, you can actually boost quite high, up to six levels above your normal construction level uh, without any effort. Um, so the first one, easiest one, crystal saw. So this will give you a plus three boost. Um, it's only gonna work on things that you actually need a saw for, so you can't build rooms with it or anything, but a lot of things you can use this crystal saw for. The requirements to get it are not that hard. You just have to complete the Eyes of Glowfury quest. Don't know if I pronounced that right, but I will pop up the requirements now. And yeah, it doesn't take that long. Highly recommend doing this quest. All right, the next boost you can get is by drinking tea. And there's three tiers here. So at level six, you could get the clay tea, clay tea cup. That gives you a one boost level 23 you get a two boost and level 67 you get a three boost which is what we'll do now i'll show you how to make the tea real quick so you have to have a larder um search the larder for some tea leaves go into the shelves get a kettle get a teapot get a cup use the kettle on a sink to fill it with water use the full kettle on the range while that goes Use the tea leaves on the teapot. When uh, the kettle boils, it'll say it in your little chat box. Hot kettle, pour it in the teapot with leaves. Now you have a pot of tea. Pour it in your porcelain cup or whatever cup you're using. Cup of tea, already? 73 construction. Drink it, 76 construction. It's like magic. Uh, other boosts um, are the spicy stews that you can get by after completing the Evil Dan subquest recipe for disaster, but they're so inconsistent, I don't even think it's worth mentioning. I feel like it's probably only really worth going for when you're at that higher tier level and the levels are taking so much longer to get. All right, now let's get to the fun part. What is gonna actually make your player own house better? So we'll start at the first requirement that you'll get and then we'll move up slowly. So first is our lovely chapel room. At level 45, you can make the most basic altar, which is all you need. Um, It'll restore your prayer just like any old altar. And uh, this is the first essential item here. Next, just two levels above that, you could build a quest hall. Mine doesn't look like anything fancy, but there's one key item in here. The Amulet of Glory, the Mounted Amulet of Glory. It has limited charges, it's really awesome. Um, quick way to get to the Grand Exchange or Advil Karamja, you know, the usual glory teleports. Um, so you need 47 to mount the glory on the wall. At level 50, we will head over here. We could build the portal chamber. Um, I have the tier above it now, which stores three teleports, uh, six, sorry, but the regular portal chamber can just 
hold three teleports and honestly that's all you need um and also you could do the grand exchange so you don't have to do the exact teleport as you see them in your of course i'm on ancients now but um you could use the grand exchange teleport you can use the archaea spell book any three teleports you want you could put in the portal chamber Lastly, we're going to move up quite a bit here. So the superior garden you could build at level 65. In here, uh, you could start building the pools here. Uh, the first one that you get, not all that useful. It only restores your special attack. But one step up at level 70, you get this pool right here, a v revitalization. So that will do special attack and your run energy, which is super clutch. And you combine that with the altar right over here. And you have pretty much everything except hit points, but that comes way later in construction, and that is not for the mid-tier, mid-game video. Uh, in addition here, I also wanted to mention the Spirit Tree at level 75. I know we're really pushing it up there, but you, and you also need 83 farming, but if you could build it, um, it'll save you a few extra steps from having to go to the Grand Exchange. So those are my favorite items in my player-owned house. I have it organized, so it's all try to bunch together. I could hit the altar, hit the revitalization pool, and spirit tree or portal and only a few steps in and out it's really useful you don't need to get to the end game to have a very useful poh and i hope you have an awesome day and subscribe and like the video and comment your favorite part and watch the next one see ya